In this video, I'll show you how I set up uh, a system for procedurally placing ambience actors uh, with WISE and Unreal Engine 5. The goal of this project was to set up a system that procedurally places ambience actors in an environment based on the uh, data of the environment itself. So if there are more trees, there should be spawning more birds. And when the wind increases, for example, the birds should uh, chirp less. I'll start by going over uh, the setup in WISE. I won't go over any player character related sound effects in this video. I will save that for another video. Environment sound effects can be divided in this project in two main categories, 2D and 3D sounds, where 3D sounds are spatialized and 2D sounds are not. For this project, I used two kinds of 2D stereo sound events in WISE, one for the background ambience and one for a wind event. The background ambience is driven by an RTPC called Ambience Mix, and this RTPC is based on the amount of trees that are detected around the player. That's something that I will talk about later on. The wind event is driven by an RTPC called Wind Speed, which determines the amount of wind. Three D events and wise or spatialized events are pretty straightforward in this project. There are many different kinds of birds, which are nothing more than random containers placed inside events. These bird events only play one bird chirp. The amount of chirps are determined in uh, the system in Unreal, and that's based on an RPC called wind speed, and I will show that later on. The frogs and crickets events are pretty similar. Frogs will be placed around water and crickets will be spawned more if there aren't many trees detected around the player. Wise events for bees are a bit different. They are spawned around the player based on the amount of wind and if there are trees around the player or not. Each time a bee sound effect spawns, it gets a random automated 3D position. By doing this, uh, we kind of simulate the bee going in a trajectory around the player. The river event is very straightforward, it's just a loop, and this will be spawned on a spline that moves this event on a position relatively to the player along that spline. Tree wind rustles are also pretty straightforward. These wise events are looping sounds of rustling leaves, and these sources are placed around the player in trees based on the amount of wind dictated by the RPC wind speed. The intensity of the wind rustles also increase based on the parameter wind speed. Let's dive into the engine. A big part of this project was figuring out how to design a scene and a level like this and placing all the actors, figure out the lighting and all kind of stuff like that. But uh, that's something for another video and I won't really go over that in this video. The most important blueprint for this ambient system would be the forest ambience blueprint. In here, there's a collision box and two AK components for the 2D events. The collision box is used to be dragged around the area that it needs to cover. On begin play, all the locations of the trees are saved in an array. And after that, this array is used to check how many trees are around the player and which trees are closest to the player. Based on the wind speed, a percentage of these trees are marked as wind candidates or bird candidates. And when the player gets close to them, a bird player blueprint or a wind player blueprint will be spawned in the tree. These actors are saved in an array so that they can be removed when the player is out of range. And when they are removed, this spot becomes available for a new tree or bird sound effect that can be spawned around the player. Bird sound effect events have their own dedicated blueprint. In this blueprint, an AK event is posted by a looping timer. The interval of this timer is based on the wind speed parameter. When the wind parameter is high, they will spawn less frequently or not at all compared to when there is no wind, for example.
the three wind rustles work rather similarly. But the wise events are a bit simpler because they are just looping audio events. These actors are spawned around the player and are saved in an array to set the parameters that they need to increase the wind intensity when the wind speed parameter increases. Crickets are spawned in an area around the player based on how many trees there are in that area. When there are many trees around the player, the crickets will spawn less frequently compared to when there are no trees around the player. When there are no trees around the player, we can assume that there is an open field of some sort and thus the crickets will spawn more. Crickets work a bit the same compared to the birds. They will chirp less when the wind speed increases. These sound effects work a little bit more simple. They are just spawned uh, in an area around the player and um, they have a really small attenuation and their own uh, 3D position automation in WISE. And when you walk past them, you will just hear them really shortly. The event for the river is placed on the uh, spline that's used to make the river. And it just takes the closest point to the player and places the river sounds there. That was about it. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.